Pandistan. I'll let you open that packet. Oh! <laughs> it's come out the bottom. <laughs> it's, gone, it's gone all over me. It's a, it's a trick. It's a trick packet. <laughs> What's happening, people? It's your boy, Peerly9. And as you can tell by the title, we will be trying Italian sweets, snacks, candy, whatever you want to call it. But today we have a special guest back with us. You might have seen him from the Nicki Minaj reaction videos or some of the Italian rap uh, reaction videos. And everyone's been wanting him back for a long, long time. And it's your man. Right, Dad, Steve. Might notice he, he, he's not rocking the beard anymore. I think before they was like, oh, you should keep your beard. Makes me look younger. Before we get into this video, we're gonna go through all the snacks and treats that I have got. We will be creating a tier list with this also. It's just gonna be a bit of fun. But I did put up a story on Instagram asking you guys what products I should be buying. So most of these are off recommendations. There's a lot of products that I could not get. Thank you for the recommendations. I read everyone's inboxes. I may not have replied to most of you, but I was a bit overwhelmed with all the sweets and treats that, that you were giving me. So we've got all of this stuff on the tray and we'll uh, discuss it. Plus you can see it in the tier list below. We've got some tiramisu as well, which weren't on the tray. And we've also got a couple of these drinks. They're not, I've not put them on the tier list, but um, this is the only Italian drink that I ordered, but I thought it'd be nice to, to have. Yeah, let's get into it. What, what do you wanna What do you wanna eat in first? You can pick. Uh... Okay, so the first thing we're gonna try is the drink because they're not in the tier list and we can drink this throughout. throughout. And this is called Estathi Pesca. And I believe it's a peach flavored drink. Would you, how would you pronounce it? Estafi Pesca. Estafi Pesca. And there might be a little bit of ASMR into the microphone. And it, it's quite nice being this close, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. What have you got? A peach one as well? Yeah, we've both got the same flavour. I'm going to let you try and then I'm going to tell you what I think. Hmm. Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that. That is really nice. Do you know what brand makes this? Yeah. I've no. seen on the packaging, it's a uh, Ferrero. Everything might be flipped on the camera, but yeah, it's Ferrero that makes this. Like Ferrero Rocher? Yeah, that like Ferrero yeah. Rocher. Mm. That's really good. It's really, really refreshing. It tastes like a summer drink. And I don't know if adults drink this too much. No, I see it comes nice. in a bottle as well. I don't know if there's like a fizzy version and this is the flat version, but you'll have to let us know down in the comment section. I think it'd be nice with a vodka. <laughs> you think everything's nice with a vodka? <laughs> right, we'll drink that throughout. What do you want to crack on to next? Um, well, this is... That. So. Chioco Grano. Chioco Grano. This so... Huh? You said it Italian. Yeah, it's Italian food. Is, is it making you talk Italian? No, that's how it's pronounced. Giacocco Grano. Hey, what's Giacocco Grano? Yeah. They're going to absolutely kill us in the comment section as well. They're going to be like, you don't know what you're doing. Have we got to right. open it? Yeah, you can open it. But what I wanted to say is a lot of the recommendations was this brand Molino Bianco, and it looks like it's made by Barilla. This one looks a little bit like, I'll show you the next one, Tarallucci. This one looks a bit more brown. So it's like um, a bit of like a wheat. So I don't know if it's like an allergy thing or something. But yeah, do you want to open it or do you want me to open it? No, oh, um, go on. I, I don't mind. You've opened that really well. Show the audience. You, you're not showing the audience. Two hours later. We had... Ta da So before you try it, have you eaten that one? No. Oh, so these are like a biscuit. I, I don't know if these are all like biscuits, but it's like... Uh, it's like a... What would you pr say that looks like? It looks like someone's took a bite out of mine. Do we have anything no. that resembles this in, in our country? Yes. What? Uh, no. Um, I don't know. It don't look like the picture though, does it? Really? Uh, similar. Yeah, it does. It's darker. I think this bit looks darker, yeah. There ain't a bite taken out of the picture, look. <laughs> have we got a taste this now? Yeah, what, what do they say in, in Italy before they... Like, why do they cheers? Uh... Hold that up. Hey. Hey. It's very dry. Mm. 
That was my first thought. Mm. Very dry. Crunchy. Need a cup of tea to dunk it in. The chocolate's not overpowering, though. Mm -mm. I thought it would taste a lot more chocolatey than that. Didn't you? Mm. And if you see, it looks a little bit lighter in the middle and then there's like the chocolate wall is all the way throughout. I would recommend this with a nice cup of tea. With a cup of tea, it'd be really good. You, that's a that's a big pack, so I'm, I'm guessing that's like a sharing size. There wasn't no any smaller any smaller packages or anything like that. All right. Are you gonna finish it? No. It's nice. I could imagine with a cup of tea. With a cup of tea, it'd be good. Mm. Yeah. It is very um very tasty, not overpowering with the chocolate. Mm. But I think you you definitely have to have something to drink with it. You couldn't just eat them mm. one or another. Yeah. What what would your what would you say on the tier list? I would say yeah, I would eat it again, but not as that. I would have to have some a drink with it. I think so, I think for me, bearing in mind. I do like chocolate a lot. I'm a big fan of chocolate. I think it was probably okay, nothing special. But if, if if I had a cup of tea or something, I would definitely eat it again. I don't know if they drink much tea in Italy. I know it's a very British thing, but... I think they drink vodka in Italy. They drink everything in, in Italy, but they're, they're wine drinkers. And Are apparently to the last video that, that we done, which was... Uh, how to uh, 20 rules Italians must never break. Um, they don't get drunk apparently, but everyone in the comment section said that's a load of bullshit, so. Yeah. Oh no, lots of uh, drunk Italian. Mm. So, are you happy with Woody again? Uh, yeah, I would eat it again. Well, my next one would be, mm, it's like another chocolatey type one, it is. This one is Pandistel, so every single person that I asked for a list, or every single person that replied to my Instagram story recommended this. Okay. This is like, I think this is, I think this is their elite, their elite chocolate. Oh, like our um, digestive, chocolate digestive, that's there. Mm, maybe. We have like chocolate di digestives, which is like a household item. It's like a, an elite biscuit, it's top, top tier. Everyone has chocolate digestives, right? No, there's no one that doesn't like chocolate digestives. Not that I know of, no. <laughs> right, Pandy Stell. I'll let you open that packet. Oh! <laughs> it's come out of the bottom! <laughs> it's, gone, it's gone all over me! It's a, it's a trick. It's a trick. Oh shit! You opened them really well, haven't you? <laughs> Look, uh, we'll have to get the Uber out after, but I've got it everywhere. Oh wow, wow. Oh, smell them before we get. Ooh. Oh wow, yeah. They smell good. They they do smell good. Look at him licking his lips. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Can I have one? Yeah. Well, they look good. The stars, like, they smell actually good. come out. Like, can you see this? They look and smell better than they taste. Once again, I think this is a cup of tea biscuit. I think it's a bit underwhelming. No wonder why Italians are so skinny. Because they don't eat a lot of these biscuits. No, but they don't taste sweet. No. And they're very like dry and bland. They're not like mm. you'd have a couple of these. You wouldn't you wouldn't sit there and no. finish this whole packet. No. It's not moist enough to. You would end up you would end up probably choking. They're nice though. They're these be the first ones. What what are nice are? These or the um, uh Choco Granos. I'd put them on the same wavelength, I think. I wouldn't I wouldn't say that's nicer than that. I think I would eat them both as the same. I wouldn't eat think, oh, I want them rather than them. Mm. I yeah. think these are nicer. They're not sweeter, but they definitely have more mm. flavor. I think I didn't taste enough chocolate in that. I could at least taste the chocolate in this one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 
And you look at them and you think they're going to be really overpowering. And you think they 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 look good and they smell good, but I think they the smell actual, really good. I think the taste has actually let the smell and the look down. If anything. Yeah, yeah. I definitely would eat these again. Yeah. Maybe with a cup of tea, they'd probably be you can't stop eating. Hmm. But I think I would eat these again. Definitely would eat these again. With that information, we're going to place that there. And I think a lot of people are going to be unhappy in the comment section. Oh. Okay. Wow, these look good. Look at that. Yeah. Well, they are Molino Bianco Flutti Chocolato. Flutti, flutti Chocolato. Flutti Chocolato. Yeah, these look good. When the when these come in the order, these were the ones that we looked at and we both thought these these would be our favourite. Yeah. I think like we like this kind of like what would you call that? Like, I know it's, it's bread, like, but uh, one of those panu chocolat. Is that what it's called? Oh it's no, bruch rolls. Yeah, they're like a, they strike me as a bit of a bruch roll with chocolate in the middle. So bru bruch rolls are French, but I think they eat a lot of like pastry and stuff like that. Mm. In, in Italy, and they're not really... No, I'm like, not saying they are. I'm saying they look like them. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. Chocolate in No, it, no, yeah. I agree. When I was looking on the Italian sweet websites, there wasn't a lot of, like, nougat stuff, you know, or a no. lot of chewy sweets or a lot of, like, hard-boiled sweets. There were some, but not many that I could get hold of. And these come like this, which, to me, these are like you could have them in a packed lunch or something. What's, you could take them to work. What's that American one, one they get in packets like this? An American... Twinkies? Yes, that's them. Yeah. Yeah, the Americans have them like this, don't they? They love them, but not this type of similar. Well, I'm going to now endeavour. They smell, they smell awesome. These smell awesome. Oh, yeah. And they, they look like a sausage roll, but with chocolate in them. Mm. Look. Mm. These are nice. Mm. Not dry. Mm. These are these are bang on. Mm. Oh my god, these are so good. Oh look, it's got a. You can open them up. Yeah, I was just look. It's like a gap, and then you can take out the that chocolate. Or you can make it chalk. Hello. Oh, no. For me, this is the best we've tried so far. I think Molino Bianco must be massive in in Italy because a lot of the products were Molino Bianco. Is it a bit like McVitie's and they make a lot of different Maybe. Of I wasn't planning on eating the whole roll, but I have. It's so good. Very nice. I could demolish a whole pack of them. There was a nice moisture to that. You can eat them on their own as a snack, or you could probably have them with a cup of tea or a coffee. Yeah, but um, you don't need to. Mm. Where with them other two products, I felt you needed a drink with them. Mm. They're not sweet as well. They're sweet, but they're not overly no. sweet. You can taste that there's not a shit ton of sugar in it. Yeah. You know? Very nice. I think that was perfect. Um, where, where would you rank that on the on the list? Can't stop eating. I, just, I think we're putting can't stop eating and we'll see we'll see how everything else formulates. Yeah, because yeah, we can always change it. If it's about the best one we're gonna taste out of all this, then no, I, I still believe it's one that you you'll have one and you think, you know, I could eat another one. But it's not like over the top. To me, the picture, it looks boring. It looks like bread with jam on it or marmalade. Or like some yeah. apricot jam or something. And this is called... Integrale. Fetti biscotta. Fetti Integrale. And it's another Molino Bianco Barilla brand. Right. And yeah, again, it does look kind of boring and it looks dry. Even the packaging feels and sounds dry, you know? You wanna open this one? There's a little yeah. tear there. Can you open is, it? Is there instructions on this one? Well, there's just like a little tear thing there. Two hours later. So first things first, it's come like this. So it's like a cracker size. That is underwhelmingly small. Oh, here we go. Here we go, look. There's the flat. Magic flat. And inside is, would you like to take that? Yeah. So this is just like, it, it feels like gone off bread. It feels like gone off bread. Mm. Look, that we give give to the ducks. It looks like it looks like oh. a miniature brown bread. It smells bland. Mm. 
So we're gonna be ranking this on its own, but what we're gonna also do is put Nutella spread on top of this afterwards. So just yeah. bite like half of it or whatever. Right. I'm gonna make the executive decision of putting Nutella straight into S tier. Nutella's made by Ferrero, I oh, do right. believe. Okay. It's, that's correct, right? Well, oh, all right. Oh. That's not bad. It was like eating a cream cracker. Do they have Jacob's crackers in in Italy? You want to get some Nutella spread? What would you rate that? I would put, as it is, on its own, who would eat this on its own? Yeah, let's put it in who would eat this. I agree. I don't, I don't see who would just eat this. Not as it is. I, it's made you, for a spread. You, definitely made for a spread. Yeah, you definitely need something on it. Let's try a bit of a Nutella. The problem is, if this does taste good with the with the spread, what's making it taste good? It's the spread that's going to make it taste good. Mm. Building the Nutella is struggling to make this taste good. Really? Mm. Nutella's nice, but even on this, I don't think it's that nice, you know? Mm. I think we keep that in the who would eat this. Yeah. Sorry, Italians. That's not good. This is a great, great product. Integrali, terrible idea. I, th I think maybe we're the only ones that ever bought it. I don't know. A Kinder. Pingui. Pingui. So I picked up this Kinder Pingui from our local um, supermarket. The thing is about this, I don't think it's Italian. <laughs> oh. Kinder is Italian, and this is actually gonna be the first Kinder product we're trying, right? Okay, so we've got to share this, so I'm going to break off a little bit. And well, you have the little bit you break off, and I'll have the quite rest. cool. There you go. That's it. Oh, it smells good. It smells co 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 nutty. Wow, oh, look. That tastes like a bounty to me. That tastes good. I like that. I would eat that again. First initial taste, it tastes a bit moldy. I'm going to put it in Woody again. Where would you go? Um, yeah, I'd, I'd go eat again. I'd have to have uh, a couple, though, to get <laughs> taste. Let's move swiftly on. This is Kinder Country. Kinder I think. Country. I, I, don't, I don't know if this is Italian either. I think it might be a Kinder product that's sold in the UK. I'm not too sure. But it looks bloody good, so I ordered two of them. Actually, this is from the Italian supermarket, though. Oh, is it? So yeah. I, there we go. Yeah, break me off, whatever. Oh, it smells like Kinder. I love Kinder, though. It's got, it's got a bit of a rice crispy base to it, hasn't it? Mm. Oh. That's the nuts in it. I can smell nuts in it. That is good. Mm. Really nice. I'm having some more. I like that. Yeah, just nice texture. Standard Kinder texture, nice and soft. That's it's, an elite chocolate bar. And this, uh, what's the name of that bar of chocolate? Nut Crunch or something? And you get that at the bowl. Yeah, like a Nut Crunch. Mm, a bit more. Doesn't taste like a Nut Crunch. No, mm. no. Oh, no, definitely not. Mm. But that texture is perfect. Mm. Absolutely perfect. How would you rank that? I think if you carried on eating, you would get sickly. Yeah, but don't worry about that because the bar's quite small well, anyway. I would, I would eat it again. Like the bar's only that small. It's not like a lot of chocolate. You think that's too rich? I think so, yeah. I'd, I'd put it in the category of, yes, I would eat it again. Yeah, but the problem is, then you're ranking this the same as this. So, chat, what's better out of these two? I know they're different products. But I would, right, but I would eat them again if I had a cup of tea. Yeah, but what's I'd better? Enjoy eating them. I would eat more of them than I would of them. Okay. I'd That's eat, fair. I'd, That's fair. I'd, I'd eat more of them biscuits than I would of that Kinder. But to me, that's too rich and it could get sickly. Yeah, that's fair. Where they, they're not too rich. So you could eat them with a cup of tea. You could eat more of them than you could of the Kinder. We'll put this in. We'll eat again then. I'm going to put it at the top end though. The strawberry fruit teller, which I quite like strawberry uh, sweet. I like strawberry milkshake. 
I do like strawberry yeah, stuff, but I'm not a lover of strawberries. Oh. I like strawberry flavoured stuff. In uh, the UK, Frutellas are like, when you're growing up, everyone has Frutellas. But before you get into that, these are made by a brand called Perfetti Malta or Mate. So, um, yeah, when I see Frutella was actually Italian, I was like, well, I'm chucking it in this video because I like Frutellas. But any old people watching this will remember Opal Fruit. Yeah, but I don't have old people in my demographic. Oh. How like, many videos have you watched of mine? I don't know what how, demographic how many, means. How many videos of mine have you watched? How many videos? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. In the last two months, how many videos have you watched of mine? None, no, no, no. <laughs> So, exactly, that proves my point. And Frutella comes in a traditional. That's elite. That's S tier. Frutella's a bad man, sweet, you get me. How you mean you want to have Frutella's, man? Look, there is no more bloody Frutella's, no more, man. But there's hundreds of sweets here. Kitty cat, twigs, a man's bar, uh, knickers. Why do you want bloody Frutella's? Because I like them, innit? Why are you asking me for blood? It's a bad man, sweet, you get me? Blood, if you're not mine, leave. This shop's anything, man. I'm gone. Dickhead. Is this going to pull my false teeth out? <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. It's not that hard. You might want to suck on it for a bit. <laughs> Pause. That's nice. I got a four pack. I could eat the whole four pack. I'm not going to because it would rot my teeth. But really, you're in the category of you can't stop eating. No, I'm S tier. Are you? I think, I think S tier includes can't stop eating. I think S tier is just like... That's just the perfect sweet. Or well, that's just really fucking good. And I'm not even too sure how Italian it is, but... I would put that down as... Because um, I think if I had them in front of me, I would carry on eating if I was watching a film and not realise how many I've eaten. So you'd go, can't stop eating. Mm. So next up, we're going to try some Ringo. Uh, this is made by Pavetzi. Pavezzi. They've got like a white and chocolate one. I don't know if these are going to taste different flavours, but this is the vanilla filling. So there's one with like a chocolate filling as well. Just confusing really, because they're showing two different... Ah! Wow, so it flips. The packaging's really cool for a lot of these products. I'm going straight in. It's a bit like an Oreo. Obviously, there's cream in the middle. As you can see, might fell apart. It smells like a custard cream. It smells like two biscuits. It's not The actual biscuit That's is fucking quite good. nice. That's really good. That is really, really good. Well done, Italians, on this one. That's been bad. I've tasted the cream. The biscuit is quite... That was a nice biscuit. Mm. Very nice. I think this is the, probably the best thing we've tasted today. I think this is something I would open and just eat until they're gone mm. and not realise I've had more. 100%. And this is going to be on my top agenda this one i'll be eating these watching a, a good film that's probably an italian film gotta be it's gotta got be like the italian job that's an english film i oh, know it had italian to it didn't it <laughs> oh yeah where are we gonna put that oh uh i would put that in an s tier i think that's one of i agree the ones I've i so agree s tier all day baby I can see him eyeing up the tiramisu. Yes, but I, I think we should only open one. Yeah, yeah, we will do. Because then that leaves me a whole one myself. This is Italian styled coffee dessert. I've got to be honest, I've never had tiramisu. Have you not? <laughs> never. Oh my God. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, you wouldn't like it, I don't think. So it looks like there's some chocolate dash on the top. Mm. There's some like creamy fill in the middle, which is probably the main ingredient in that. At the bottom there looks like a biscuit base. And it smells coffee. Is there coffee in there? Mm. Is it coffee base? Yes. Italian styled coffee dessert. Oh, that's a big bit. If I don't like this, this ain't gonna go down too well. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, oh, I don't like it. I'll give you my verdict. That is sweet. That is strong. Mm. I better not eat anymore. That's going straight into the who would eat this. Who would eat this? That's going into the bottom category for me. Well, for me, yeah. I'd have to put it in would eat again. I'd like to put it in 
can't stop eating, but I would. The reason being, it would be too sickly after a while. Yeah, but yeah. I love it. It's a Molino Bianco. Why do I talk Italian? That's Molino the brand. Bianco. The name of it is there. You oh. keep you said Molino Bianco every time I picked up back. Well, this I is, can say that though. This is Taralucci. See, I find that hard to say that one. Yeah. Are you going to open this one at the bottom again, or are you going to try the top? No, I'm going, to, I'm going to try to open it from the top. I'm just going to put a little tear in it though. There we go. Oh, I'm good at this. They smell a bit eggy. I got some nice cool design on it. Like a little... Bon voyage. Oh look, oh, it's got a little cottage in it. Yeah. It doesn't seem to have a taste to it. It's just like eating a lump of cardboard. No, no, no. This tastes like a biscuit we have. It tastes like a rich tea. I was going to say a rich tea. This Is tastes there, like rich tea. There's not much flavour in it. No. This would be a perfect biscuit for this a is, tea. This is the fat version of a rich tea. I think this is probably better than a rich tea because it will uh, hold a tea better because it's thicker. No rich tea, you have to like dip in and come straight back out and bite it before it drops. This, I think when you dip it in, you'd be able to hold it in for longer. I would eat it again, but would I purposely go out and eat it again? Probably not. So for, for me, it's nothing special. Yeah, I, I think I'll Agree. You'd eat it if it was there in the biscuit barrel. Yeah. Because it's there. Next up, we're going to try Nutella Be Ready, and these are made by Ferrero. Why do you want to eat and these next? They remind me the look of like them. I'm pretty sure these are crunchy. I've seen these in the supermarket. I've never had them. The packaging of, of stuff like this is really cool, and then they just come out like that. We had like little uh, things like this before called animals, and what they were was like biscuits like this and they had like an animal shape and I really think they're gonna taste the same. And them animals had like chocolates inside. Do you know what I'm talking about? The animal biscuit. Mm. Yeah. It just tastes like a crunchy shell with Nutella yeah, inside. Yeah, that's right. Reminds me of an ice cream cone. You know when you get an ice cream and they pull it out of the outside it's like a cone, isn't it? Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's an ice cream cone with Nutella inside it. I mean, I would eat it again, but I just think it's a bit overpowering. Yeah, very, um, very rich again. Very rich. Oh, yeah, I would, Good eat word. I would eat it again. Did you like that word? Mm. Very rich. Yeah. A bit like you, very rich. Not yet. So what are you going to put that down? I as? think it's would eat again. Or is it nothing special? It's um, weird because Nutella's an S tier item and essentially it's just Nutella no, you, in a packet. For you, Nutella's an S tier item, not to me. But where are we putting Nutella B ready? Where would you put it? Uh, yeah, I'll eat it again, but that's it. Yeah. Cossioli chocolate. Yeah, this uh, is another. I, I pronounced it right. This was another highly requested item. Cossioli or Cocciolli. Oh, wow. Mm. Oh, that's got a nice smell. There's not enough chocolate mm. chips on there. I'm trying to think. They smell like um, a wafer biscuit. That's bang. I find it very dry. I think that's just a theme with a lot of Italian food. I think that's a theme we've discovered quite early on. They're not fat. They're not fat country. They're healthy country. They eat things in smaller portions. The English and the West and and the more I say the Western world, but Italy are in the Western world. But like when I say the Western world, I'm talking about America and, and us that have a lot of tendencies the same as America. What we we tend is we like to overconsume and we like to eat a lot of sweet stuff and and, and carry on eating and eating and eating. Let me try a bit of tiramisu on it. No. That's ruined the term. <laughs> you just put tiram tiramisalata. Tiramisalata, tiramisu. <laughs> I, I I would eat it again. I would put it in eat it again. I think it's nicer than the, the Nutella be ready. It's hard. I, I think if you had just one of these items there, when you're sitting watching telly or watching a film or you want to pick at it, you would eat it again because that's all there is there. You know what I mean? Mm. If you had a choice of, if that was there and maybe a packet of them rings, mm. you would pick the Ringo's. I'm going to leave it and would eat again. We have got Spicci di Sol. Dorati al forno. It looks like a croissant, but they don't feel like a croissant. 
They look like a biscuit that's shaped as a croissant. Everything in these style bags have been like a biscuit and very bland. Once again, they all smell similar, don't they? You know what I think so? No, these taste. These smell a little bit more buttery. I don't think any of these had this has had this buttery smell. I'm really undecided. I don't know if I like it or hate it. They're dry, bland, you know, nothing special. But it's something you would have with a cup of tea. Or yeah, I think you said that about every item. <laughs> I know because they're so dry and they are bland. But you know, you can get a lot of biscuits that are like that. But when you have them with a cup of tea, it changes it. It changes it. I think it's nothing special. Very similar to the Taralucci. We've got three items left. It looks like a crispy donut. Wait, it is a Massini. It does actually look like a crispy donut. Yeah, well, that's what I like. Surprise, surprise, the Mancine smells exactly the same as the Speechy de Sol and the Taralucci. I mean, they're not yeah. bad. They're not bad. Like, we're not criticising them. We're just saying they're a bit bland on their own and they'd be a lot more nicer if you have it with a cup of tea or, or something like that. And we have them a lot in this country. We have, like, digestives and rich teas, which are, like, very bland tasting biscuits. On their own. On their own. But with a cup of tea, they're very moorish. This tastes more like shortbread. You like shortbread. Mm. This is nicer than Taralucci and Speechy de Sol. This is nicer. This is actually really good. You like it? Yeah, what are you thinking? Let me guess. It's bland, it's dry, and it would taste nice with a cup of tea. Yeah, it's decent. Nothing special? Or no. would we'll eat again? Um, nothing special. Getting into our final two products, which are two products that are massive in the UK. Kinder Bueno. So we've got the Kinder Bueno white, and then we've got the normal Kinder Bueno. I don't know if they serve these in Italy. I know they have one that's very, very similar to this. Um, so instead of ordering the Italian version, I just got the UK version. Try the normal first. Of all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That is so good. Thoughts? Um, I would eat it again. Is that it? You don't think it's better than that? I think for me, it's can't stop eating. No, I will put it would eat it again. These are just delete. These are just, uh, these is going straight into S tier anyway. Mm. But that's S tier. Every day of the week. Every single day of the week. I think I think that one wasn't as sickly as the one we had before. But that's S tier item, so it doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Italian sweets and treats uh, overall? What did you think of of their items? Would I go out out of my way to buy any of these specifically? No, I wouldn't. If I go to a restaurant and we have something to eat, and there's a nice tiramisu there. Yeah. I will always order a tiramisu over the top of everything else mm. because I I do like I do love a tiramisu. So yeah, that was Steve's faults, Granddad Steve's faults. Um, I thought it was decent. I understand I understand why they're not as sweet. Like the Amer American industry's pushed a lot of their world into like the overall scope of the world and and a lot of things are filled with sugar and a lot of good stuff that are not good for you yeah i thought overall they were decent i thought some of the products were overwhelming uh, underwhelming even and i thought some of the products are s tier like your nutella and and your kinder bueno they've just been about forever and ever you know add one more thing i think this drink is out of this world yeah that really would, good that that would go top of the list as tier yeah most definitely this is nice so it has been Oh, sorry. What did you say? So it's been... It's been a pleasure. <laughs> Grandad Steve and Peely9. If you really enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up. Let us know what country we should do next. If you think we should do a part two with some other items, let us know what we should be eating and what are the true snacks and candies from Italy. And uh, yeah, make sure you comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. It's been your boy, Peely9. And... Uh, Grandad Steve. <laughs> and we're out. Uh, peace.